Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Rosie. I'm making some pinto beans. I'm gonna make this entire bag. Now, we don't eat pinto beans that often, only when I cook something, you know, Mexican. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make a big pot and then I store it in the freezer. I, um, I have a whole little process, so I'll show you how I do that. So like anything, I'm gonna take these out I'm gonna rinse them, I'm gonna sift through them, make sure there's no little rocks or anything that shouldn't be in this bag. And uh, then I'm gonna put them in my crock pot. So this is what I removed from my bag of beans. You can see this one's kind of an ugly little bean. I removed all the half pieces the, um, and anything that just wasn't as attractive as the whole pieces of beans. So then I rinsed them. I cleaned them up really well, just a nice rinse. And now I'm gonna add my water to my crock pot. As a rule of thumb, for every eight ounces, you put three cups of water. So now I'm just going to cover them. I'm gonna put it on high, because I'm not patient. You could do it on low for eight high for three to four hours. I'm gonna check it at about three. Okay, so here's my beans. It's been four hours and they are perfect. So now I'm gonna put some Nor Chicken Bouillon. I'm gonna give that a good stir. So I mixed my chicken bouillon. For this amount, I used one tablespoon of Nor Chicken Bouillon. And it, to me, it tastes really good. I'm not gonna put any more. So now I'm gonna let these completely come down to room temperature and I'll show you how I bag them up and I freeze them. So here my beans are completely cooled off. Here I have a quart size Ziploc bag. I flip down the sides. So I found it's easiest to use a little bowl. Put your bag in here. And with a ladle, start filling up your baggie. Now you have just enough for whatever meal you happen to have made. You don't have to use all these beans at one time. And I'm going to freeze these. So here are my bags. I've labeled them pinto beans and dated them. Now I'm just going to freeze them and I'll have them available anytime I want. Homemade pinto beans. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me on my channel. Please subscribe and I will see you next time.